welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Joseph Hosta, and I'm here for TNT Dynamite Explosive. I'm Jonas here, the man on the sticks. I'm so here. And we're playing Madden 21. We did it. We made it happen. Oh, it's a freaking game of the century. Yeah, dude. This brownie is the, boys. The brownie boys versus the steely boys. Steely boys. <clears throat> Do the Browns have like uh they they put ads on their uniforms? No, though? football does not put ads on the uniforms. They don't. No. Where do they get their basketball? Ads? Does yes, yes they do. And I hate it every second. Really, I hate. But like that they put ads on the uniforms. What's too. okay? Baseball doesn't put ads on their uniforms. No, but, but uh, blah, blah, blah. there's and basketball. Oh, and NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, because fighters. Like, uh, and, and and basketball just started in the last like few years too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fighters like because like when Brock Lesnar used to do MMA, he had Jimmy John's logos on his shorts. Like MMA fighters no. have logos and companies on their shorts. Okay. And Are those the boxers. only sports? Yeah. Yeah, boxers. I know. What? A, wow. Well, wow. just open <laughs> open up with a touchdown. Yeah, right? dude, it's good. There we go. Set the set the team off right. I'll resuscitate. He's gonna him. lay down in the on the wet ground to get. Whoa, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'd jump like that if somebody tried to penetrate my skin, too. <laughs> he pressed his magic <laughs> button, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to think if anybody else does. Yeah, I can't even really Tennis think. players with, like, a big old, like, WD-40 logo. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any brand logo that you would be okay with being on a football or on a football jersey? Mm. Like, what if it was, like, I don't know, uh, Spalding? No, dude. They well, make I mean, the balls. They, I, you know what? I take that back. They do because like the jer the jerseys are made by Nike, so there is a Nike swoosh, oh. and it used and there used to be a Reebok swoosh when they were made by Reebok. Reebok yeah. yeah. Does That's Reebok even exist anymore? I, yeah, I would imagine they do. I'm like, pretty they're sure nowhere near as prominent as they used to be. I think they're owned by Puma or something. I oh, think. or so, yeah, maybe they like had like a like they're about to close and want another company. Yeah, like, they're like a subsidiary of somebody, but they're definitely not as popular as they used to be. Nah, dude, Reebok used to be the jam. Yeah, and they, and the shoes they wear are uh, are, aren't they branded too? I think they're all. I think it's all Nike now. Yeah, because I think because they used to be Reebok. And then Nike redesigned all the jerseys a little bit, and then they were different. They're kind. Of, they're made with different material and stuff. And hmm. so, I, but I think that's like uniform from head to toe is all Nike now. Hmm. It'd be kind of weird if they have like Adidas shoes and Nike helmets. And yeah, the Nike wouldn't go for that. No. So. That's that's pretty crazy, man. That's a big contract for them. Oh God, yes. You know how many effing uniforms they have to make? And the, theirs are like the high-end ones that like yeah. if you buy the authentic, it's like 200 bucks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, I bought a couple of those one time in my life when they were uh, they were on clearance or whatever. Yeah. Because one of the players was leaving. I got a, a Randell L and I got a Tiki Barber. Nice. And I still have them to this day and they are trash. Yeah, dude. I had some, uh, I have some jerseys. I haven't worn any of them in a long, long time. To be completely honest, I, they've lost a lot of weight, so they don't fit me anymore. But I doubt. The only time I ever wear a, a sports jersey anymore is if, yeah. if I was going to the game, I would put one on, or if maybe if I was going to like a restaurant to, with a bunch of people to watch the game, maybe I'd put on like the Browns jersey or something. But other than that, like, I used to just wear them around. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like jerseys kind of like fell out of favor a lot, man. Unless you're like a fan going to the game, it's not really cool to be wearing jerseys anymore like that. Yeah, like it used to just be. You see people wearing like football jerseys all, all over the time, the all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I would like, think in smaller towns they might do it. I can't believe you just threw an interception. Yeah, yeah. He, he picked it straight off, dude. That guy is my bane of my existence in this game, though. Uh, His well, name is Minka Fitzpatrick, and Minka I had another game where I threw four interceptions to him. Oh, wow. You got to watch out for Minka. Yeah, not in this season either, like in a different version of Madden. He's just my kryptonite in this game. How is he IRL? He's good. He is good? Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah. Huh? All right. I don't think he plays for the Steelers in real life because this is the second season. Mm. So, like, he probably was a free. I, I want to say he played or played for or plays for the Dolphins in real life. Really? But that could be wrong, too. Uh, I mean, I'll check it out. Yeah. Plus, I want to see if his name is really Minka Fitzpatrick, because that's nuts. Yeah, that is his real name. Where is he from? He, I don't know, but he, I think he's from Alabama. Oh, my college. God. Look at Google, man. He plays for the Steelers. Oh, he does? Okay, so he really yeah. does play for them now. Oh, yeah, dude. He's a, he's a guy, all right. 
University, University of Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, okay. See, I knew that. Except, how I remember where these guys go to college, considering I don't follow college football, <laughs> is beyond me. Oh yeah, he's young too, twenty four. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's definitely he's definitely up and coming. He's like, already really good, so that's amazing. It is it is nice to see guys uh, who who play the sport well come in young and like just dominate. Yeah, that's cool. Like I love when when like a rookie comes in and just like lights everybody up, oh, and you're yeah. like. Damn, and you're 23? Okay, dude, you got 10 years left on yeah. you. Go. Honestly, and I know you hate Ben Roethlisberger, but that was impressive what he did. Yeah, he came in and did pretty good. I mean, he, obviously, he came on to a team that had a lot of talent, but, I mean, he's still yeah. – his first The quarterback year, is still important no matter what team. His first year, he put up a lot of, like, 100-yard, <clears throat> one-interception mm -hmm. games. Like, he didn't perform very well, but he didn't lose the games. Yeah. But they had, like, the bus and, like, they had some really oh, yeah. good players Jer back. Jerome freaking Bettis, man. I came uh, – they had uh, – I think Ooh. their receivers were Yancey Thigpen and uh, – was? Yeah. That was the guy who looked like Tupac. Yancey Thigpen. Yeah, and I can't, Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they had some really good players back then, but he, he didn't lose the games. <laughs> and then he's turned into a really good quarterback over the years. Yeah. But. Yeah. Solid, man. Oh, look but at this. He, look at this guy. Ooh. Look at this guy outrunning Odell Beckham. Look. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, no, dude, I'm faster. And I'll outrun Odell Beckham in a, in today. Well, right now you can't because he has a torn ACL, so I'm sure he probably could outrun him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's out for the rest of the year because he blew his knee out. It sucks for that guy. Yeah. It Come does to Cleveland was the worst mistake of his life. Sucks for Cleveland, too. But, you know, it's, there's no Cleveland curse, but, yeah. I yeah, mean, that's, that's the thing that happened. There is a Cleveland curse. <laughs> no, Cleveland curse is you come here and you lose. Well, no, but, like... It's like you just do Not worse on the Browns because there's – dude, I can't even tell you how many players that I uh, see that, like, they now play for other teams. And I'm like, they've been playing in the league now for, like, eight years, and they're still – and they're doing halfway decent on another team. And on the Browns, they weren't good, you know, or they come to the Browns and they do bad. And it's not like the Browns aren't trying, man. They had, like, years where they had, like, very early first-round draft picks, and they're like, okay, we need a good quarterback. <laughs> and they yeah, had a 30, lot of 30 choices went wrong and they had a bunch of prospects man tons of them who were like considered to be the next big thing yeah lots of them dude tim couch brady quinn i mean like, there's a lot of guys who had a lot of potential and then they came here and just it just doesn't work dude. yeah but i don't know if that's just like bad scouting or is it like what? What does the team need? What is well, what do the well, Browns need the to succeed, I think, Jonas? I think a lot of people don't think about this. It's no matter how much talent a player has, if you put him in a system that does not fit his skill set, he can potentially struggle. Not everyone is good enough to adapt to any potential football system. Some guys are really good and accurate, short, but if you make him throw deep all the time, he's gonna throw interceptions. But like, so, so some, some playbooks, our ideal is like we're doing a lot of 10 to 12 yard passes, quick outs, things like that, throwing on the run. But if like, you're not good at throwing on the run and they want you to run around and throw the ball, you're gonna throw in accurately, you're gonna do whatever. So it's like, yeah, he may be great in college in his system, but if you bring him and you want him to do something he's not good at, maybe he can't adapt. You would think they would like modify the playbook too, you know? yeah. But I mean, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's like all the coaches' idea. It's all like. Well, they the also coaches. some teams do. They draft a guy and then they're like, okay, we we recognize we need to update our playbook because this guy. Mm -hmm. Like the Ravens, the guy they have now, the guy who's on the cover of this mad, Lamar Jackson. He is he is not – he's a pretty good quarterback itself, but he's re, he can run. He's like Mike Vick, essentially. Oh, okay. a, a second coming of a Michael Vick-ish player. Cordell Stewart. Right. But, like, <laughs> la the first year they had him and they tried to – because I think he came in because maybe the quarterback got hurt or something. Yeah. He did okay – but he doesn't fit a stand in the pocket and throw accurate passes nah. sort of system. So they re kind of invented their playbook. Now he runs all the time and does sweeps and options and like really? you use him, you use the player you have to his skill set. You know? Yeah. So I don't know, dude. But Fair it's some some coaches are so stubborn. Like this is what I do. You're gonna fit in. Oh my yeah, dude. Coaches are not a hundred percent right. They're egomaniacs, yeah. dude. I have to be to reel in 
these hulking. Oh, and like the, I mean, the egos of the players on top. Of yeah, exactly. You, I mean, you have to be, you have to have a stronger ego than these millionaire prima donna like millionaires who think they're the ish, you know, to keep them in line. Who gets paid more, coaches or the players? Players. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Just for sure. sure. I mean, you're talking like I think like players like Tom Brady and Ish are making like 20 million a year. Coaches make a good paid coach makes a few million. All right, fair. But fair. that's still a lot of money considering they're not actually playing the game. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, they got to be there. <laughs> they got to be there for practices. They have to figure out and and like a lot of it falls on the. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. The one who gets the blame, no matter yeah. how, how good or bad the players are, the coach is the one that catches catches the blame. Well, I don't know. Quarterback, I feel like takes the brunt of. Uh, of the blame a lot. Yeah, but who gets fired if the season's off? That, that is true. But in the public eye, quarterback takes a lot of it. Because yeah. it's like, man, this guy's throwing a crap game or the receivers aren't yeah, catching. Yeah, you can't really fire a quarterback very easily, but you can get the coach out and put somebody else in this place. Yeah, yeah. Well, and sometimes, like, because if the coach doesn't have control of the locker room or the players don't respect the coach, no, that's the team does a, terrible too. You yeah. see that in basketball. You see that in everything. Yeah, yeah, tons of sports. Well, dude, you're, you're managing Jeez. all those players and all, all their needs personalities. and all. Oh my god, dude! Well, yeah, I'm, dude, and I'm, and I'm not even trying to speak bad about professional athletes, but you have yeah. players who have who have drug problems. You have players who have mental issues. You have players who have all of them. Yes. Yeah. You. I mean, mental you have players issues. who have crazy wives and girlfriends who are causing all sorts of trouble. Yeah. You have players who are. I mean, have kids that are out of control. I mean, it's I say, just, I say, you put you put me in a room with how many guys they have on the football team. Uh, 53 players. You put me in a room with 53 anybodies, and you're going to encounter all of those well, right. things. Right, and you're thinking some of these people are 23, and some of them are like 35. Mm -hmm. So the, the problems you have at 23 are way different than the problems you have at 35. Oh, my gosh, man, yes. And man. you're getting, like, kids who've been broke and poor their whole life that now all of a sudden are, are millionaires, and they're 23-year-olds and think, and think they're big hotshot hey. football players. Like, you know, hey. it's, yeah. It's you have a lot <laughs> you of gotta, different. You got to babysit these little twenty-three-year-olds now with too much money in their pockets. Exactly, dude. And then you get the you know, but you know, I think a lot of that policing happens amongst the veterans, like the older guys on the yes. team. I think are like the guys that are like, "Yo, you're out of line. You better get the hell in line." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the coach has like uh, he has mods, Jannies. Essentially, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like your your top ten tenured guys are like the mods of your locker room. Yeah. You're the coach, but yeah. coach can't keep an eye on everything. All yeah, the time. And the coach has a team of guys too that <laughs> right. There's there. assistant coaches and, and trainers, and you know the head coach is probably handling like the big issues and like assistants and trainers and stuff handle yeah. the little stuff like, yo, I got my side piece pregnant, my wife can't find <laughs> out, like those sort of things, you know, like I got my side piece pregnant, my wife can't find you, out. You ain't gonna tell me that that's never came up in a football <laughs> locker room, basketball <laughs> locker room, baseball locker room. Uh, I mean, yeah, Jones, I've seen that happen at the office that I worked <laughs> seen that at. happen at Wendy's. <laughs> so, of course, it happens. Did that. you really see that? No. <laughs> no I wouldn't be surprised, though. Yeah, I don't know. I just, the, the problems that these guys go through, at least, like, everybody's just a person. Did you ever watch, I, 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 I probably doubt you did, but there was a show, it was called Playmakers. And Absolutely it was on, not. It was on ESPN. It was about a football team, mm -hmm. and it was about all the... The majority of it was about like the off the field stuff that happens. But it was like oh. it was a drama show, but it was based on like real events. Oh, it was like Entourage, kind of. And uh, it it re like they canceled it after one season, what? and it was really popular. But it was like it showed it that side real? of football that yes, it got it got complaints because it was like it hit too close to like <laughs> they're like man they're taking my story this is my story right well i mean because there was like one of the the one running back was like did drugs before the game and then like but it, but then they came out later and there's running backs who like admitted they're like yeah i used to get high before football i smoked weed before i went out and played football you know it's like but you don't want that out in the you don't want the public to know that the players are smoking weed before they go play. This, I mean, obviously, weeds become way less stigmatic. Did they, use, did they use the real names of teams in the show? I no, was, it was like they were, I don't even remember the name of the team. So but. it's satires, you know. It's yeah, but it's a fantasy. But, but when it's you a fantasy a too world. Clo too close to home on anything, and there's yeah. a giant money behind an entity. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure the NFL was like, yes, yeah, stop this. <laughs> right yeah, now. exactly. Like all of a sudden, it, like it was a, it was like. Slander. Uh, yeah, it was a good show. Slander. Like it was interesting. 
Yeah, yeah and then all of a sudden it was like, yeah, that show disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt, well, actually, probably like, let me look it up. You can't even find it on the internet. Any, it's just like been wiped from history. <laughs> hey, NFL man, big football. I man. think I have a copy of it actually. Like it's like three discs. I think it was only like twelve episodes or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts oh man yeah well yeah i guess when you know it's it's so funny because money just it seems to do that a lot to people man what like when you know like actors musicians they get a lot of money and they just tend to start doing more and more crazy stuff crazy stuff man yeah it's like you lose your sense of self when you have all that money yeah like even like bands from the 60s yeah ozzy osbourne Willie Nelson. Yeah, I imagine, dude. It's what I mean. I, I would, I would think everyone goes in with the best intention. You know, nobody's like, I'm gonna get this money and turn into an a hole. It's, but it's just like, you have a lot of powerful people believing in you. you they, they need you to perform. They need you to do the right. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I think it's just like an opportunity too. Because me and you, we don't really have the opportunity for people to like say, hey, I just found some cocaine here. <laughs> Nobody's just walking up and offering us cocaine. That's true. Yeah. Because we don't throw expensive parties where people would offer us cocaine. That, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess like yeah, you've a lot more like or people are just like, hey, you know, we've got lots of ladies here. You want you want to hook up with some lady? You know, it's like you're like, hey, we got drugs. Hey, and you're married, and you're like, they're throw literally throwing women they're at like, you. Like, oh, you're rich. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I'm just the person with the wife at home. Yeah, right. And like, but well, it's like, but they're like pulling off their clothes and like like literally throwing themselves at you. Or a guy's like, hey, here's here's a bunch of weed. Here's coke. Here's whatever. And right? you're like, nah, dude, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like, it's hard for me to control myself when ugly girls throw themselves at me. <laughs> Could you imagine if a beautiful woman threw herself at me? Jeez. What are you saying? <laughs> just being real. <laughs> you're like a, a dime walks up on you and is just like, hey, yeah. why, don't you go in your, why don't we go in your room? You're like, I got to tell you no. Some goddamn Tommy Hilfinger model walks up on me and starts throwing it. I'm going to be like... Ah, well, I can't really pass this up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, really? i would be kicking myself in the morning. I mean, I'm not married, so it's not a big deal. Right, right, right. I feel it. Is. But then, you know. Oh, God. It takes so long to recover from a potential. Then she takes a s syringe of my semen from me while I'm asleep and impregnates herself. Right, takes the used condom. <laughs> <and> rub <laughs> yeah. no, no. Don't, don't. Don't talk about used condoms. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> oh, no, man. That's that. all the time we have for today's episode. Please totally. make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, you just switch. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash backslash TNT DIN on my GHT underscore crazy town and Twitch. That frick for Jonas. TNT. Catch you on the next one. We uh, are. There's a ladder. Ladder. Out.